Hi. <laughs> I'm Erica. Uh, and I'm back. I have zero plan. Zero plan. We're gonna just go with it and see what happens. <sighs> like, where do I start with what's happened in the last year and a bit? I, uh, so, I stopped making videos because I started doing CrossFit and I got really, really into CrossFit and I focused a lot of my attention and energy and time into CrossFit. Um, I was going through some stuff and I found it very helpful to focus on that and that really helped me get through some stuff. So that left no time for videos. Um, it left time for friends and family and work, of course work, and therefore I stopped making videos. So yeah, that's, that's what happened. Um, I'm still doing CrossFit, even with my arm, um, but I'm a lot better with it and I'm a lot better at managing my time around CrossFit and around other things that are going on in my life. So we're coming back. Coming back, we're figuring a plan out. I'm gonna go hang out on my balcony later, figure some stuff out, decide what I wanna focus on. There's still gonna be some baking videos, there's gonna be some like cooking videos. I meal prep a lot now. And I'm trying really hard this week to have different, this week, I'm trying really hard right now to have different things each week or have a variety of items. I used to meal prep the exact same thing every single day and it worked actually wonders for me. Um, I lost a lot of fat, became muscle, but now that I'm at a point where I'm happy, um, my, like, I say I lost fat that became muscle because I didn't really lose weight. I lost weight for a little bit, but I've gained the weight back, but it's more of a muscle now than it was fat. So I'm back to the point where like I'm counting my macros, but I'm having more variety in the amount of macros I'm having and the amount of what I'm eating. I'm just, I'm doing a lot better at managing CrossFit. I'm doing a lot better at managing my food and my time. What else do I have in mind? I'm still doing like some art stuff. So like if anything like that comes up, I didn't make a video of this, but I really should have made a video about this. I sewed myself a case for my Kobo. Um, you'll probably also hear me talk about books and Kobo a lot. I work at Kobo. I'm not sponsored by Kobo by any means. They just pay me to do my job there. Um, they don't pay me to talk about Kobo outside of Kobo. I've just said that word so many times. But I believe in the product and, oh, no, don't turn pages. <sighs> and I like ebooks. They're handy. When you're riding on the subway, it's really easy to hold an ebook than it is to hold a big book, especially when you only have one hand. This is really handy for me right now. I have the H2O, it's waterproof, but I have not tested that yet. Maybe that could be a video. I don't know. I should review that. Again, not being paid to talk about them. I don't even think they know I have a channel. Also, we'll talk about books because I like books. Well, Beer Fest is coming up, so that might, that's not going to be fun. I have one arm. <sighs> beer Fest is going to be fun, but filming is not going to be a thing because I have one arm. Like, it's, I can't, it's, it's awkward to use. Um, I should talk about that. So, my wrist is not broken. Um, I have a soft tissue issue, injury. He was calling it T-S-C? T-A-S? T-S-E? He had like a bunch, it's a tendon sprain something, I think. I think. He has, he said the acronym a lot, but I was not listening to what the acronym was. I was listening to what he was saying about it. Um, so I'm not fully sure. I've been wearing a brace for two weeks. I have another four weeks to go and then I go back to get it looked at again. Um, what happened was two and a half weeks ago, I was biking to the gym from work and was going around a bus and the bus moved away from the curb and I went over streetcar track and my tire got stuck in the streetcar track because I did not angle it properly because I was more panicking about the bus than what I was doing. Um, so I went down, put my research, stopped myself, so I wouldn't hit my head. Fine, friend came, got me, took me to the hospital. They put me in, because the hospital doesn't know what to do and the x-rays weren't showing broken, but I couldn't bend my elbow. 
so the hospital put me in um, a plaster cast that went from here and over uh, for two days and then I went to the fracture clinic where they cut it off and they put me in this which is doing the trick for the most part it still hurts every once in a while but generally fine I just can't use it so still doing CrossFit doing modified classes doing modified things um, which is great my coaches at my gym are wonderful and so helpful and they're well I mean they were because we thought it was a two-week thing <laughs> So now I'm getting help from one specific coach to hopefully help me plan the next four weeks until I get it looked at again. Um, it can heal within those times, so I do have to check it every once in a while, which I do. So could be out of it before four weeks, but I don't go back to the hospital. I don't actually go back to the hospital for five for five weeks because he wanted to give me four weeks. Four weeks was the log, August long weekend, and I'm not sure where I'm gonna be the August long weekend, so I can't book that. Um, as you might be able to tell, I moved. I live in the same building as I used to live in. I just live on my own now. I don't live with my roommate, um, who is Tracy, who was in a bunch of videos. She'll still be in videos. She lives the floor above me and down the hall. We just, um, she wanted to move in with her boyfriend and I wanted to move out by myself. So it was actually really perfect timing. Um, we both did try to not be in the same building we were in beforehand, but nothing was available at the time except for these two apartments in our building we lived in. So we moved down a couple floors. <laughs> That's it. It was so simple. Um, I'll do a, I need to clean up before I do a tour of my new apartment. It's a bachelor. I love it. It is a great size for me by myself. So I live in a new apartment. It's great. It's wonderful. I do share it with one thing that's also new. Who I think has gone back into the bed one second. This is Martin. Martin is one year old. He is a kitten that I rescued from the Toronto cat rescue. Um, I've had him since April, I think. So just a couple months. He came from in uh, hoarding eviction. When he came to me, he was underweight. He's put on a couple pounds, so he's he's doing really well. Um, he was also super scared, wanted to sit in the smallest enclosed spot possible, um, but now he's fine. He's fine. You wouldn't even be able to tell this cat was a rescue cat anymore. He's a little bit of a pain in the ass. He wakes up when the sun comes up. I do not. But generally he's fine. If he has food, he just like will eat and play by himself. So I just put down, put toys away um, that make noise at night. Yeah, that's Martin. He's kind of cool. Well, that essentially was just a I'm back video. Uh, continue to subscribe if you're interested in what I might have in store or planned. Um, definitely there still will be food videos. Um, stuff about CrossFit, mainly because I'm modifying a lot right now. This bugs me so much and it gets so hot and sweaty and I have such a weird suntan lines because it's tan, but it's not as tanned as my hand or my arm. <sighs> Maybe I'll just tape me meal prepping and we'll see what happens. That's literally how this channel got started. I videotaped me making like banana bread and wanted to see what would happen. And I had a channel for a while. It was kind of okay. It didn't do great. I didn't have a lot of followers, but you know, it was still fun and I enjoyed it. So make sure you subscribe so that you can be informed of when I do post videos. And that's all I have for you. Okay, bye.